Okay, so let's go through number three from the handout from today in class. You have the worksheet in front of you. It says that EA is eight feet. So this is eight. And then another one is that EA is congruent to CB. So this is also eight. Now, because this is a rectangle, opposite sides are congruent. So this is also eight, okay? Now they say that the perimeter of the rectangle they say that the perimeter is 42. So if this is eight and that's eight, eight and eight is 16. Let's take away 16 and that's 26. Let's cut that in half and that's 13. So what we get is that we have 13 here and we have 13 there. But I'm not gonna put that 13 there. Uh, JK, I will leave it there actually, as a matter of fact, there we go. What else? Looking at the worksheet, they say that angle EA, they say that EAD, they're saying that from E to from A to E to D, from A to E to D, this angle there, that angle is 107 degrees. But hold up, if that pink is 107, this part is 90 alone, right? The, the right angle. So if I got 107, that means that the little piece up here, that's 17, right? So I know that this is 17 right there. And I know that that's 90 because 90 and 17 is 107, as it says on the worksheet. So I know that if I write this a little more carefully, that's 17 degrees. What we need to focus on right now is the question mark. That's what we need right now. Let's find the question mark. So let's draw just that triangle without all of the distractions. Let's call the question mark X. And let's use law of cosines to find X. Law of cosines from today would have said this. It would, it would have gone X squared equals eight squared plus 13 squared minus two times eight times 13 times the cosine of 17 degrees. That's a square, that's a square, because bad writing. And what's cool about this is if you look at the whole right-hand side, that is just a number. And let's type in that number. So we have that plus that minus that times that times that. Now look, I'm getting about 34.08 for the right-hand side. We then square root and we get about 5 point, let's say 5.84. So X is about 5.84. So that goes in here, but really that goes into the question mark, which is AB, 5.84, 5.84. Let's get some space. So we know that the question mark is about 5.84. Let's move on to the goal. Now let's focus on polygon A, B, C, D. Look. A polygon is closed. It's never open. So we go A, B, C, D, E. So we're going from A. Look, let's do this in green, shall we? Let's do this in green. So begin at A up there, and we're going to go to B, and then to C, and then to D. And I know that the letter, the last letter is E, but you don't stop there. You have to close the circuit because a polygon is a closed unit. It's not left open. So really, we have to add together Five add together that with that with that with that with that. The inside 13 is not used. It's not part of the deal, the 13 that's inside. Add up only the ones on the outside. And the perimeter of that polygon, let's see, 5.84 plus 8 plus 13 plus 8 plus 8. So the perimeter of that is 42.84. A fee. But then they're saying that if you go to the store to buy fencing, it's 72 cents for every foot. So let's finish this problem by taking the feet and multiplying it by 72 cents uh, for every foot. And that's how we got the given answer from class, which is about $30.84 that you need at the store. So hopefully that helped. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know in the comment section and I will happily respond.